The first exercise that I'm going to suggest is the low incline chest press. The reason why I prefer a low incline to the flat bench is because as you get bigger or if you have very long arms or otherwise don't have very good shoulder mobility, a flat bench press will cause you to run out of internal rotation ability sooner. When you are on a slight incline, it starts you in a little bit more of an externally rotated position and most people are going to be able to get a longer range of motion with less shoulder discomfort. Additionally, pretty much any form of dips or flies is really going to tax the lower and middle pecs. So doing a slight incline to get the upper pecs a little bit more love is always a good idea, especially because most of us started our lifting careers by spamming the crap out of flat bench, either because we were strength enthusiasts, power lifters, or just because bench is the most popular exercise of all time. So that said, there are many different versions of a low incline chest press and you should really just pick whichever one that you have access to. In theoretical optimal nerd land, the absolute best version is going to be a converging machine with a lengthened bias strength curve. Now that is very difficult to find and off the top of my head, probably the only one is uh, that's common is going to be the prime strive or Atlantis incline bench presses. Most of us will have access though to dumbbells. Dumbbells converge, but they present a stability challenge and they're difficult to incrementally overload. However, if you're not that strong yet, or your gym has lots of great dumbbells, this is a great option. For me, my favorite common available low incline chest press is going to be the Smith machine uh, incline. And the reason for that is because one, it's extremely stable. It's on a fixed track. It's easy to incrementally overload. I can go up by, you know, half a pound or a quarter of a pound if I really want to. And even though it doesn't converge, it still offers to me the best benefits out of the available options that I have because I don't have access to a Prime or Strive or Atlantis machine converging incline with a lengthened by a strength curve. Most of us are gonna have to pick between dumbbells, barbell and Smith machine for this variation. And given those three choices, depending on how strong you are, I would either go with dumbbells or the Smith machine in most cases. Now, all this said, if I had to just pick one exercise to be the king of chest pressing, it would be the prime incline bench press machine. And the reason for that is that the prime machine has an adjustable strength curve. So you can get that to be as lengthened biased as you want it. You can get it to be mid range biased if you want it to be as well. It has converging handles, which means it trains the same action as a fly, removing the need to do flies for the most part. It provides you a stretch because it's not a straight bar. So it has two separate handles, which means that you can actually have your hand sink below the level of your chest for a full stretch, which you can't do with most chest pressing movements unless you're using dumbbells or a different kind of machine. And last but not least, because it is a machine, it is stable, requires very little balance and coordination. So you can just get on that thing. It's very simple. Try your hardest and get a ton out of it set per set. So in my opinion, the best chest press exercise is the prime chest press.